In our last video, we talked about how to control one column of LEDs. What we would like to do is be able to control our entire LED matrix. This is actually more difficult than it might seem, and to understand why, let's try to light more than one column. How about we'll light from the second and third column? Nothing too complicated. Let's try to light a square of LEDs. Now actually, this won't be too difficult. We could do this, but we will have trouble with is if we want to have something like this, something that wasn't a square, something that wasn't so symmetrical. Now we only want to control here in our example the second and third column, so we, need, we know we need to turn those on, and this one we should have off. Now for our bottom row, we want to turn on LEDs, so we should have this one as off, so that these LEDs can light. For our second middle row, we should also have an off, after all, these two rows are identical. And I would also like to turn on this LED, so I would need a 1 and then a 0. And there we have it, I can light that one. But this causes a problem, and it's all because of this LED right here. Now, right now it says on for this anode and off for this one. So this LED will also light. So we can't actually get this pattern with our LEDs. What we will need to do is we will need to do something called multiplexing. What multiplexing is about is turning on one of these columns at a time, and then when we're finished with it, turning that off, and then turning on the next column, and then the next column, and then restarting and continuing this pattern. Now, by doing only one column at a time, we won't run into any problems like this. Now, of course, if we turn on one column after the other, you would expect flickering. And if we do this slowly, we will get that. But if we do it at something like one hundredth or a thousandth of a second that we flash this row, sorry, this column, and then flash the next column, then it will happen so fast that our eyes won't even notice. Now if I turn off the lights here, we can see this in action. Here I have an LED matrix. I can turn one light on and I could have two columns and turn both those LEDs on. But as soon as I go up to another row, then I get, well, all of those lit. You can see that I couldn't make something that was L-shaped. So not a problem that we need to deal with right now for our circuit, but something that we will need to deal with later when we write our computer program. 